Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Spectate uh, gameplay. Today we are watching someone called Evade Script, uh, a Twitch jungle player. Um, but this is a little bit different to your bog standard Twitch jungle. Now this gameplay, oh, Shadi's walking around. This gameplay uh, I was playing uh, on the enemy team. So you can see this here. This is me. You can see that down there, it says Fox Shop. If you can't see that, uh, there I am, Fox Shop. So this is me, I played this in a ranked game, right? Diamond 2. I played versus this guy. Uh, and this guy had a really unique strategy. This is the cheesiest strategy I've ever played against in my life. I'm not I'm not joking, this is this no exaggeration. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever played versus. Uh, this guy played Twitch Jungle, but it wasn't really just the Twitch Jungle. Uh, it was also the Kale Top. Uh, there she is. Now, Kale Top here, she's got Heal as her summoner. Windspeaker's Blessing, and if you see the items as well, she starts with a coin. So, she's top lane as the KO, duo Q with his Twitch, and this Twitch is jungle, and this was absurd, right? I'll show you what happened this game, I'll show you how it went down, I'll show you the strategy. It was it was just ridiculous. It's very similar to the Chinese boosting strategy, but I've, not, I've never seen anything like this specifically, uh, especially this high up, uh, you know, Diamond 2 level. So just to take, take a look here. This guy does his strategy right now. He's got really high win rates. This guy does his strategy uh, with not just Twitch, mind you, okay? So if we scroll down, we'll see that he's got games on Twitch jungle, but also Lucian jungle, 26, 9, and 9. He's tried it with Kog'Maw. He's done it with Callista as well. So he does this with pretty much any AD carry, okay? Twitch is just the most likely uh, choice because... Oh, wow, that's an unlucky start. Twitch is just the most likely choice because Twitch is the best jungler out of all of those. Mentioned Shadwell, what are you doing? What are you doing, Shadwell? Uh, there we go. So, uh, I'm going to try and keep this really quick, honestly. Like, I'm going to zoom past most of this game. Uh, he just does a standard level 3 clear. Red into blue into Gromp. So, getting level 3. Uh, and then going for the uh, cheeky plays. Here we go. Goes for the gank, but gets counter ganked. Okay, is it just me or is this ridiculously loud? I'm going to turn that shit down. Goes for the counter gank, uh, but... Doesn't matter, still wins. Uh, but essentially, like this is all this is all, this is all standard boring Twitch jungle stuff. You don't care about this stuff, right? I want to show you why this is why this is special, why this gameplay is special, why what this guy did was special. Shad's walking around again. Uh, not only did he, you know, try and camp top as best as he could, um, and 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 got himself fed, but this this guy's strat was was ridiculous. So take a look at Kale's items as well at various points in the in the game. You'll see what Kale's doing. But this is where it starts getting really funky here. Look at this. <laughs> he goes top to just take to catch minion waves here. He go like Kale will, will, will collect a huge uh, a big minion wave and then Twitch goes top and just picks it up. So genuinely he's like he's jungling and leaning at the same time basically and just getting picking up as much gold as possible. Now he rushes he goes standard Twitch jungle items which is blood razor into uh Blather and King or Hurricane sometimes. Just but standard Twitch jungle items, but honestly, I don't know. It, it, it's just crazy. So, uh, honestly, in the early game, this is where it's not really meant to be that strong. And this game, it wasn't anything special, I would say. He just sat, sits in this top lane, ganks. The, uh, generally, just sits permanently sits where wherever this Kale goes. But it gets really special the later the game goes on. Because like right now, these the enemy team or this team, the blue team, Twitch's team doesn't really have a laner, right? Because Ko is isn't really laning. She's just I don't know, just doing whatever it is she's doing. Shady me. All right, Sh Shad's going on an adventure. Um, but I'm so we're just gonna like skip through all this stuff because this stuff is standard boring. Just sit top lane. Look, still farming all that stuff as well. Still farming. Uh, absurd. Look at Kale's first item by the way. Kale goes coin into ardent sensor legitimately. I don't know what this is though. This is me, but that's me. That's me. Look at me. Woohoo! <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. Uh, but yeah, I got auto field mid lane this game, and literally auto field mid. By the way, not off road. Auto field mid. I'm shite at mid lane. This guy was like, "Yo, I'm auto field or off road jump. AD carry. Can we swap?" I was like, "Whatever, man. I'm gonna suck whatever I play." But yeah, crazy. So I'm gonna skip forward a little bit here. In fact, I'm probably gonna skip forward like here as well because. We were actually winning kind of hard. Like if we if we if we zoom up to like this point, you can see we've double kills. We've got three k gold lead. The gold lead isn't immense, and a lot of it's on me. <laughs> uh, on the gin, I was six zero three here, and I'm crap at eighty carry. So the gold lead basically is invisible here. Um, but you can see they they spend twenty minutes out of out of thirty here, 
garbage, right? And then, I mean, you can you can take a look at this. I just pause here and you can see 48 CS to 128. Kale just genuinely was not farming whatsoever. Is going for Knight's Vow second. Has gone Murtred so that she can't get stunned, locked down, and not be able to alt Twitch. Uh, and Twitch has Twitch's farm is, is relatively low. But he's picked up a lot of lane CS, right? So none of these crappy little, like, Krugs where you get 10 CS or these mini chickens where you get nothing as well. Shaddy, mate. I swear down. He was asleep downstairs. I bring him upstairs and now he's fucking whatever. So, yeah, I mean, whatever. But this is where things start getting a bit weird here because this is basically what the strategy involves is team fighting when your Twitch is really, really strong. So, Twitch has an incredible amount of appeal here because he's got a standard support, like his bot lane support, and he's got the Kale. Shad, what are you doing? All right, I'm gonna pick you up here. So he's got one support to look after him, and he's got another support in Kale to look after him as well. And not only does the Kale look after him, he ults. So look at this, Kale just ults Twitch, and it's impossible to, for Twitch not to get out of his damage here. There's so much peel for Twitch. And on top of that as well, in the mid lane, they have another threat, which is Vlad, right? So Vlad is, is his own threat and his own right. And then boom, just like that, these guys get what? How many of us died here? I can't remember. Three of us die there. Then they push up again. I think I end up suiciding here to, to kill. Do I do this or do they go around? I can't remember. Yeah, they do this. This, by the way, is ridiculous. Watch what happens to me here. You might not be able to see it, but Vlad ults, misses me, and he one-shots me. That's ridiculous. So yeah, again, just playing around Twitch, though. Just playing around Twitch. Another threat in Vlad, like I said. And yeah, it, it just gets ridiculous. So I'm just going to play this uh, fast forward here. Now you can see he goes uh, Blood Razor into Hurricane and now IE. Skips the Blazer and King. Uh, and, and and just permanently stealth and, and initiates. Let me put you down again, chat. We'll skip forward a little bit here to show you uh, another team fight. There we go. Uh, this one I remember specifically here. I'll just pause here and get rid of this shit. So this one I remember specifically. We we have the advantage here a little bit. Uh, we go for the dragon. Uh, and then just look. L look what happens. Twitch just goes frontline Twitch. A bit of bit of an ex Smithy ultimate, but still frontline Twitch. Kale ulti, and then he he's guaranteed to just pop everyone here. You know, it, it's just guaranteed damage. He dies eventually, but not before he's wiped the whole enemy team outside of me because I'm cool. I was using my ult in the back line. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it's just it, it's impossible for him to not carry when you've got a pocket Kale like that and a Sona. Double Ardent Sensor. Kale's now going for a Thieves as his next item. Plus, you've got Vlad there. And, of course, <laughs> I'm completely neglecting the fact that there's another AD carry on the team, Trishana. We kind of shat on her this game, but still, it doesn't matter. And in this meta right now, where it's all about protect the AD carry, where you've got tanks, where, you, where you've got like, Ardent Sensors rolling around, you got supports, having this kind of play style is what it's all about. And look at me. Look at that damage. Obs that's absurd. I fucking hate Vladimir. I was so fed this game. I couldn't do shit. Whatever. It's absolutely crazy. So yeah, I mean, honestly, we just it's just it's just too hard to win. Obviously, there are strategies to win. I mean, he doesn't win a hundred percent of these games, but you, you saw his win rates; they're ridiculous. Again, he's frontlining, and he can't die. Look at that; he's got so much room. He just can't, he's just got so much pill; he just can't die. I mean, Akali kind of has no damage here, but still, it, 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 do you know what I mean? Like, how how do you how do you lose that when you're playing Twitch? So. And like I say, your weak part is the early game because you've got a scale and you basically don't have another laner because your top laner is just playing full support. Uh, and you can see, like here, these bars are where we got kills and these bars are where the enemy team got kills. Uh, we were stomping early, you saw that. We were stomping the first half of the game, but it, it just didn't matter, you know. Maybe if we just avoided taking team fights, that would be the, the optimal strategy. Um, but regardless, this is crazy. So if you've got a Joku partner who you want to try this out with, I'd highly recommend it because it was a... I've never really seen anything like this and honestly in solo queue... I mean this is Diamond 2 so this is with you would think relatively good players, right? So we should know if if, if, if anyone would know how to play against this. Look at this! He's doing it again! <laughs> Look at that! Ridiculous! He just doesn't die. 
But yeah, you know, if you, if you were doing this in like gold or something, or if you were maybe smurfing as well, uh, like gold, silver, silver, bronze. I mean, even in like high diamond, this is still working like really effectively. People just do not know how to play against this. They don't know how to not lose versus this. So unless you get stomped really hard early, this is a really solid strategy. So that's basically what I wanted to show you for this. This was, like I say, my main account ranked diamond two. So expect to see this uh, highlights this game in like a road to master video uh, a bit later on as well. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys. Uh, this strategy basically so yeah I hope you enjoyed it let me know if you want to see me and fire do this as like a duo gameplay as well by leaving a comment but you can thumbs the video up if you enjoyed it you can subscribe to me for more League of Legends content Mi Miyamo Foxtrot thank you so much for watching El Perro Yamo Shad can I show you Shad is he he's there he is he's he's, he's just tuning in all of my wires so he's probably gonna short circuit this video anytime soon so I've got to I got to stop this before that happens and before my whole you know, before ever, the whole world blows up. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one, and I will see you in my next <laughs> video.